Hello guys, this is Kevin. A few of you have been asking me about creating a tutorial of how I made this um, this uh, example in Houdini FX uh, using a Kinect. And although I don't have a Kinect anymore, I think I can guide you about creating this. I, I can still guide you about how to create this kind of effect and uh, the first thing you need to know is that if you have a Kinect uh, well, the software I have used to create this uh, this cloud this mesh here is the Breckle software and you can find a tutorial about how to generate your own point cloud using the Kinect in, in the Jasper Breckelman channel and this is this uh, um, this guy is actually the one that created the um, the Breckle software. Um, since I don't own a Kinect anymore, in this tutorial we are going to use uh, an example Alembic file that is generated using this Breckle software. And for that, I'm going to go to uh, the website of Jasper Brecklemans, and you can find in this link an example, an Alembic file example. I have already downloaded this file and you can actually see here the file is example AVC so after having all this information we're going to start the tutorial in Houdini so I'm going to open Houdini and what you can see here in Houdini is that I have a geometry file and which I created uh, writing uh, geometry so inside this geometry the first thing I did was to load the alembic file uh, the alembic example file I just uh, downloaded so I can choose um, I, what, I did, what I did is to select the file and select this example AVC and this example AVC is actually an alembic animation so if I click play you can see that it is an animation it's a bit slow so I'm going to click stop. So um, the parameter, the only parameter I have changed in this uh, Alembic file is that is that I have loaded this file as a primitive, which means that I have loaded as a as a mesh, as a polygon, which has information of point or faces. And uh, next thing I did was to uh, use this uh, scatter node that is going to is uh, going to generate points using this information. So if I click here, what is doing is generating some points in a 3D space using this information here. And the parameters I have modified is only this force total count that gives me that um, the number of points is generating. So if I change this to 5000 is going to generate uh, less points so I'm going to put the, this value back and after this point I have um, uh, I have made three steps first I have generated a few uh, spheres a cloud sphere you could tell you could say the second step I've made was to generate a, a wireframe of using the a poly wire and the third step was to generate a random wireframe so once I combine the three the three steps I obtain this which is very similar to the video I, I posted so if I click play you can see that it behaves very similar it's a bit slow because it's it takes um, a bit of time to do to process all these nodes so I'm going to click stop I'm going to show you how I made these three steps the first step to generate this um, a sphere cloud is to after I have scattered I have created this um, these points this cloud of points uh, I'm going to, uh, I, I what I did was to delete a few of the a few of those some of those points using this delete node you can see that mm, I am removing some of those points 
what I'm doing here in this delete node is I have I am to I am selecting the point entity and I am del deleting by range I am saying that I want to delete 50 of each of each 100 points in order in other words I am deleting 50 percent of the points randomly if I move modify this to 25 I'm going to delete 25 percent and if I modify this to 75 I'm going to delete 75 uh, percent of the points and after uh, removing some of those points what I'm doing is to copy in the position of tho those points I am coping uh, um, a mesh in this case I am coping I am copying this uh, sphere this is sphere that comes with uh, comes with the Houdini engine and I am just changing the modifying the uniform scale to 0 0.15 and one side this is by the way a sphere one side copy to the points I generate this I can change style I can change parameters like the size of these spheres for example I can make make them bigger or I can make it more numerous ah, sorry 50 percent so the second step I made was to generate the poly wire that is, uh, is this kind of wireframe of the mesh and what I did here is that after I ha I scatter the points, I am connecting the points and generating kind some kind of wireframe that you can see here, this kind of this wireframe. And what I'm doing here is I am selecting the adjust uh, adjacent points uh, parameter, and using this value I am uh, connecting the the points uh, using the search uh, search radius. radius um and the max maximum number of connections will be four in this case the the default uh, no, the default value is 100 and you, if you use that value it's going to take a lot of time so i recommend you to reduce before connecting reduce the number before con before making a connection because it's going to take a lot of time so i'm not going to modify the, any of those values because uh, it's going to probably uh, take a few a few time a few few moments so after I I have generated this kind of this wireframe I am bas basically um, extruding the the edges using this node the poly wire which is going to generate a, a mesh a mesh poly wire that you can see over here so after doing that um, the third step I made was to generate uh, this uh, random poly wire, random poly wire, and the first step I did was to delete some of those scattered points. I have deleted uh, using the same the same method um, I used here. I am deleting in this case 95 percent of the points, and then I am using this add node. Uh, in order to connect the the points randomly, it is this add points behaves very similar, they be very similarly to these connect points, but this connect the points, this node connect the points randomly, this connect this uh, node connect the points by a search radius. So in this case, I want to connect the points randomly. I am connecting the points by group. And uh, is the only option uh, is the only parameter I have modified. I am s uh, selecting by group, and after that I am just polywiring it, and it's generating me this uh, polywire. And uh, as I mentioned before, I just I I am just merging these three steps and obtaining the final result. And you can actually uh, do your own implementations here. I uh, hope this example has um, helped you um, to gain more understanding about how to, how to create this kind of um, this kind of effect that it looks very cool. And I think the my program has crashed. 
so this is going to be the end of the video thanks for watching